29 forecast. Well, as you get up and get ready for your weekend, here's what kind of weather you can expect. And uh, hello, I'm Storm Team 29 I'm meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. How about warm sunshine on this first weekend of October? We're going to start off on the cooler side in the 50s, but with the dry air in place, we're going to rebound very quickly this afternoon. 25 to 30 degree rise in temperature across much of the air today. Mid 70s by noon, low 80s by 2 to 4 p.m. And that's nearly 10 degrees above average for this time of the year. So great weather for your outdoor plans, including the fried chicken festival today at Gordonsville. Here's a look outside live on our traffic cams courtesy of V.501 Virginia Charlottesville I-64 to Waynesboro. Good visibility also at Rutgersville around the route 33 and 29 into Greene County and I-81 Verona between Harrisonburg and Stanton. We have good visibility, a little bit of fog though along the river valleys like the Rivanna, but that's really about it. 54 degrees currently in Charlottesville, 46 in Stanton, NBC, 29 live Doppler radar scope is high and dry. High pressure is large and it is in charge. No worries about rain anytime soon. Just a couple of fair weather clouds in our hazy blue skies today, but the dry weather will win out. If not all of this weekend, I think there could be a shower chance for the valley by tomorrow night, but that's going to be a very small chance. The most widespread rain is well to our west along the mighty Mississippi Valley from areas of the Twin Cities of Minneapolis, St. Paul, down to the Arch in St. Louis, Bill Street in Memphis, all the way down to the Gulf Coast. This weather maker will cause off and on rain beginning as early as tomorrow night, but most likely it's Monday through next Friday. That's the next big thing I'm tracking from the Weather Center, hour by hour, day by day. Here's your forecast for today. Sunshine, hazy blue skies, milder temperatures, and more humid tomorrow in the 80s. More like summertime for your Sunday. A rogue shower chance by the end of the day. I think most, if not all, of the area will be dry tomorrow. Here's Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe even a week from today, a chance of rain. So some beneficial water is on the way for your lawn and garden and look at the rain chances. Yeah, there's no escaping the rain on Tuesday and Wednesday. Widespread activity looks to be likely during that time frame and even next weekend can't roll out a passing shower. Now it looks like above average temperatures today through Monday in the low 80s and then it's seasonable days, low 70s, mid tilt and at the end of the week. In the low and mid 70s from Tuesday through next Saturday and uh, milder overnights with overnight lows in the 60s. A quick update on a major hurricane Sam. It is bypassing Bermuda off to the east as a major hurricane. It will never direct impact land uh, directly, but it will increase the surf and rip currents at your favorite beach into next week. Your forecast for today sunshine. Now the hazy variety, upper 70s and low 80s. Tonight, milder under a partly cloudy sky, mid 50s to low 60s. Sunday's forecast, more like summertime, a blend of clouds and hazy sun, warm and humid in the low and mid 80s. Here's your seven day planner in the 60s overnight next week. 80 on Monday, a chance for a shower and thunderstorm, a daily chance of rain Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 70s by day, 60s at night, so warmer overnights and seasonable days into next week with that chance of rain about every single day. So my pick day of the next seven is today, but overall not bad either tomorrow for those Foxfields races in Evermore County mid 80s for tomorrow afternoon. Elizabeth. Oh yeah, excited for that and something you know that I love fall and I love these cooler temperatures. Absolutely. One thing that I think is so hard about transitioning to the fall is the fact that the sun just goes down mm -hmm. so much earlier now. And we have that quick drop in temperature too around yeah. 7 p.m. now sunset. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to get those longer nights helping with the fall foliage, but if you have outdoor yeah. plans, yeah, you need the lights on earlier, don't you? Yeah, you do need the lights on earlier, and that's good news for the uh, Charlottesville.